Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Yeah, no three two one today, mate. <laughs> no three two one today, mate. Postura. That's what I always tell myself when I'm correcting my posture. Obviously, you know. In Spanish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your mom just beat the postura. shit out of you. No, no, it's not because of that. That's just my, just, just how I how I think in my brain. Remember he who wouldn't be named, um, the compulsive liar I was telling you about. Yes, 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 100%. He said that his dad would, like, shove a stick right here in a chair and poke it in his back so he would be forced to sit like this. He would... So, this so dad... Like, so, like, here... He said it was, like, something like this. Like, this size, too. And he'd put it like this in his, in his back to sit up straight. Wow. And it fucking works. Okay, but was it something... Was it something, like, attached to the chair or was it something like a can or... He said it was a stick. So, I'm sure it was oh, okay. something just like this. It's actually not bad. You should... You want to try this? I think that's too big. No, but he had it sticking out. That's yeah, kind of hard. Here. Yeah, give me the can. Give me the can. Oh, Lord. It's good. It's good. Postura. Postura. I, need my, I need my drink, though. I'm thirsty. <laughs> no, dude, that, that is thirsty. really good, actually. That's a good idea. But yeah, dude, I just hate. But how often are you sitting down like that? Oh, dude, my drive's home. Oh, true. My drive's to work? True. All the time, dog. That's when I really yell at myself the most. Cause, Postura. Yeah. Because today, especially, man, when I first noticed it on the drive, I was like this. I was like, bro, I, and I catch myself doing that all the time. I was like, dude, no way. This can't be me. I can't be a fucking slug. You know what I mean? <laughs> I pictured myself with a long ass slimy tail just. I don't know why I just got fucking. Uh, I just got like a thing in my head. The. <laughs> Yours? Did you see the, the thing going around where blind people read a scary story? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh. <laughs> you know, that's crazy though because it that's probably happen. how they would react. Yeah, dude, it's so funny. <sighs> Isn't it crazy how like the human brain can just relearn a whole language? Or not even relearn, just learn a whole new language. Like second nature. Or even make it up. Like, like Pig Latin. That's some made up shit. Every, all languages are made up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fucking made up. Everything. Oh my god. Everything is. I didn't even think about that. Money? What is it? Nothing. It's just fucking piece of paper. It's nothing. We just made it up. Okay. Why do we, why did we complicate our lives? Huh? Why can't we just be, why can't we just be a... Uh, like a caveman? Neanderthals. <gasps> What the fuck is that? <laughs> like, you're speaking to a baby. Use your words. Uh, uh, uh. No, words, words. That's why we That's why we made language. I just want to shit on the ground with no hesitation <laughs> and don't worry the police. I, and we're in California. You can do that already. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's already... <laughs> that law is in effect. No one cares. You're free to go, buddy. Just when you're taking a shit, just go like this. <laughs> like you're on a fence. Oh man, you just, know, and I see that all the time coming out of work. Fence? No, dude, people shitting on the ground and yeah, shit. Yeah, see, like, what are you worried about then? Or there's a there's a fresh pile of shit. I remember uh, there's a fresh <laughs> pile of shit in the parking spot next to next to where oh, I parked. <laughs> Ricky, come on, oh, dude. No, it, it was it was intense. Dude. It was come a on, big, Ricky. It was a big ass freaking um big ass pile there. It was steaming, baby. You've seen it, and it was enough. Pretty pretty warm spring day, so. Hey, at least they didn't rub it on your car. Yeah, one hundred percent. I feel like homeless people are just kind of devious. No oh, man, some of them. Some of them, I'm sure. I said some of them were kind of devious. Okay, no, you didn't, but. Man, I think I did. Okay. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like they're fucking devious and just like you know I'm gonna shit on this piece of shit's car today, just because I feel like it. If I'm homeless, my life is fucked. I'm gonna rub my shit on his car. Okay, <laughs> okay, hold on. I think it's not just homeless people. It's just, it's not homeless people, right? That is just a miserable sack human. of fucking human. Uh -huh. Because that's like anybody else that's a piece of shit out in the real world. I'm just going to be a piece of shit to other people because 
I hate everything. You ever seen the Truman the Truman Show? One hundred percent. Yes. Have you seen that? Yes, absolutely. We're living it. Exactly. Exactly. So he, for those who don't know, basically he's living his life and he figures out everything's fake, and he's like the star of a movie, right? I haven't seen it. Yeah. Basically, he just finds out he's like, "There's gonna be this person coming with a with a with a Volkswagen bug in the dent in the, in the hood." And it all happens. And he's like, see? And he kind of realizes that everyone's fake and he's like a paid actor to fuck with him. That's that's ultimate gaslighting, by the way. A whole fucking world to gaslight somebody? That's insane. Insane. But people are saying that Jim Carrey made that movie himself. Wasn't like some director. And he's, people think that he's been trying to tell us stuff for years, oh, even more 100%, than recently, dude. even more than recently. So he said they made, that he made that movie to show that no one's in charge. Like the people that you think are in charge are not. Everything is fake. Everything around you is not real. Yeah, yeah. And he's been trying to tell us that since true to the Truman Show. So what year did that come out? If you if you no at all saw it, no idea. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I would you say either. in the in the late '80s. Late '80s. Early '90s. Yeah. I'm See? saying I'm saying Thousands? late '90s. I don't know. We'll go with the late nineties. I really I like don't that. know. I like it. But um Yeah, dude. We're 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 living it. But what I wanted to say Okay. Up until the point where he found out everything was a lie, was he happy? I don't know, I never seen it. Oh, you've never seen it? No, I just saw a clip of it. Okay. And I was going through all the comments. Well if you're just living your normal life, you know, for example, all this. Uh-huh. If you've had a pretty good life thus far, and you were to find out everything was fake, how would you feel about it? Terrible. Be like, Holy fuck, everything's a lie. Everything. And everyone's seen everything I've ever done. They saw me jerk off 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> In one day. What? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, oh, man. It's getting hot here, the baby. Thing, the things they see, man. Oh, my God. They, they see me finger my asshole. <laughs> no, they no, haven't. They've never hold done on, it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Not yet. But what I was thinking, I mean, my life, personally, I love my life, right? Uh-huh. I, I, I live pretty happily. And um, I think if I were to find out everything was fake... Obviously, it would be a big shock to me, but if we can keep it going, <laughs> like, let's do it. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> you find out everything's fake, but you don't tell anybody. You just, like, you're in the shower, right, mate? You're, you just hope that there's no, like, shower cameras, right? And you're just, like, talking to yourself, like, fuck, dude, everything's fake. Like, I can't tell anybody that it's fake because I like how things are going. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then you'll be like, they'll never let me fuck up because I'm the star of the show. Then you just gaslight them. And then, like, when you're old and you're about to die, you're like, oh, yeah, you guys take the cameras on. I, I found out when I was, like, 23. <laughs> Idiots. See, but... Thanks but, for a good life. But what I'm... Yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Like, if it's been shown thus far, let's keep, it, let's keep it going. But some people, if that's the case, man, they were dealt a shitty fucking card. I'm sorry for that. So, like, who do you think would actually, like, be in charge then? If, like, the whole world around you is fake... <laughs> Who's actually in charge? Like, this brings me back to... Well, I've never talked about it, but... It's like a subject, like... Oh, the Earth is like a... A, a jar on someone's shelf and they got a C plus on the project. You know what I'm saying? Earth. Yeah. It, it brings me back to that. Is that, what we, is that what that is? Is like that? Is that what the Truman Show is? Some sort of alien? Controlling us? Like, oh, this is fucking hilarious. And they probably don't even know what the word gaslight means. They're like, yeah, I'm not. Well, you know what? And you're kind of shrink. You're not shrinking it. You're expanding it up to a bigger scale. I think going from with us to aliens, right? And it made me think. That's how someone is that owns a fucking ant farm. That's it, right there. Bro, I saw the craziest thing on Instagram. It was awesome. He was like, "This is a beehive in my house, and it's just showing the outside of the window." And it's like this little thing. And he's like, now this is the entrance. And he actually built like plexiglass wall like in a honeycomb shape with like different like layers and rooms and shit. And the bees live in there, but he can see it. Oh, that is badass. He, it's, it's a viewable 
a viewable beehive yeah, on that, the inside. That's sick. It was sick. And he's like, you see, down here is old, and this is up and coming new. And he's like, you see all the traffic going through here? He's like, this just keeps growing every day. Thousands of bees in his house, literally. But they can't get out. They can't literally get into his house because of glass, and it's all sealed off. It's sick, though. See, and you got to be interested in that type of stuff to have something yeah. like that in your home. And you can just hear him buzz. Because you, I you know bees generate heat. Oh, do they? Because when they vibrate, it causes friction. That's how they kill things. Also, oh, they just yeah, grind so on them hella literally, hard. Literally grind on them to death. Uh, uh. It's like a fucking orgy. <laughs> like they'll like go to like a cockroach or something. They'll, they'll just go around it. They don't even sting it. They just vibrate, wow. and they get so hot that it kills the whatever bug. But that's with many of them, correct? Totally. Okay. Okay. It's like a, a whole pack of them. So it's never a one on one thing. They always got to fucking pull up with their homies. On some bitch shit. On some bitch shit. <laughs> Whack. Some bitch shit. But dude, what I was gonna say is, somebody to have that in their house, they genuinely got to be interested in bees and all that totally. kind of stuff. Because for example, I feel like that would be kind of like a real millionaire type shit to do. Right? His house didn't look millionaireish. It looked just like a solid. But, but solid I feel house. like just a fucking um, a millionaire that just wants to blow their money just for blowing their money's sake. Well, would be he like, sounded like a. I want that. Yeah, I could see them doing that, but he sounded like a scientist. Like he sounded smart, and he was using like. Not beehive. He said something totally different than beehive. It was like the actual scientific term for it, but I'm retarded. Nantathropithemus, whatever it may be. Is that what it's really called? No, I don't. I don't fucking know. But yeah, he was talking like real, real educational, life and smart. Like so. how they do with dinosaurs. It's just a T Rex, bro. Uh, all I know, T Rex. I saw fucking some people are so stupid. This guy, he found a megalodon tooth. He's like, he was so excited. And then everyone's just making fun of him in the comments. They're like, dog, you just found a tooth. Yo, that's terrifying, though, dude. It's probably like this fucking big. Yeah. That's insane. And he's like, I've been digging for this for six years. He's like, I finally found it. And then they're like, dude, imagine getting excited over a tooth and shit. I was like, that fucking tooth is millions years years old. Millions. And it's still there. I wonder what those people get excited for. A Drake versus Kendrick. Imagine getting excited over that shit. Hey, Kendrick won, by the way. 100%. 100%. You want to know how he won? How he, how did he win? It says written by Kendrick Lamar. Uh, uh, performance by Kendrick Lamar. And then it says performance by Drake. And then written by four fucking people. And none of them are Aubrey. Really? N- not one fucking lyric. That's embarrassing. You know how embarrassing that is? Imagine going in a rap battle with somebody and everyone's writing your lyrics for you. Fuck, that's embarrassing. Uh, you know what, though? You know what? I was on clown his bitch ass. I feel like if that were true... He wouldn't have put it out there. You can literally look it up right now. Right. Okay, but what I'm saying is, obviously, these people can manipulate what is put in those credits. Doug, if you go to Spotify right now and look at who wrote it, they do it for every artist. So, like, Suicide Boys, they always write their own shit. Right, but what I'm saying is, who gives them that info? The artists, clearly. Yeah. So the artists can... For example, if I'm an artist, I'm going to write up a song... I'm going to give it to this publisher. But you know Drake is notorious for ghostwriters. I understand that. Yes, I do. So I don't think that, oh, they're just trying to trying to mess with him. I think this is just, hey, Drake's... And he's fucking whack anyways for that shit. I don't, I don't think Drake writ a single lyric for this album. That's why his... Album or song? Songs. His two songs, I think. I think that's why um, it's just like, oh, your feet are small. You a bitch. And then Kendrick's like, hey, I know you got three fucking baby girls that you're hiding from everybody, and I know this, this, and this, and this about you, because he did the research and wrote his own shit. But I've, you know, I've been hearing a lot of different things, though. No I've more. heard that uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the information that Kendrick was being fed, I don't know. I, I, I'm sure there's been some other stuff that was unraveling. Falsified? Yes. I, I can heard, totally see that. I heard that there was a plant. Uh, see, but then think about it like this. Then you get all these videos coming out of like, oh yeah, Drake tried to pay me a hundred grand to get shit off of. Uh, he had beef with Future? No, not Future. X apparently he got that motherfucker killed. Not, uh, not apparently. Have you looked it up on TikTok yet? No. Go down the rabbit hole. I haven't been on TikTok in a while, dude. Really? Yeah, I have not been on TikTok. Sad to say. You back in the hub? What's going on? Sad to say. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck no, going on? No. I just haven't been on TikTok in a while, man. Have you been on anything in a while? I've been on Twitter. Twitter. I've been I've been jamming on Twitter. It's my thing. We don't call it X. It's fucking Twitter still. You know, sorry Elon. Twitter. 
You, you popping off on there or what? No. Never? No, I just talk to, I just like talking to myself, you know, my usual thing. <laughs> and that's okay, you know, I don't mind it at all. Uh -huh. Just like how I post my, my little songs and everything on Instagram, I just like doing it, you know? The, do you just like get a feeling when you post a song? So when I post a song, it's just kind of like, well, I do 100% get a feeling, but it's a feeling of, wow, this song's really fucking hitting right it's now. It's exactly what I think, too. This song is what I need at this moment. Literally, I was on the freeway, and that song came on, uh, Rectify by Magnitude, and I was like, yo, this is hitting. Like, this song was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've heard it before a bunch of times, yeah. but today, it was hitting good. Uh -huh. It was hitting real good. Yeah, man. What I don't like is, I was going to bring this up to you. When you share it on Apple Music, you share it from Apple Music. Correct. It doesn't play the audio. Why do they do that? They need to add the audio with it. I don't know. I don't. I hate that they. I hate Wouldn't that they do Wouldn't it be so that. much better? It would be one hundred percent better. And, and Instagram. I, I've tried to add the song. I've tried to add the song before, but now it it it, it, just, it even says, can't add audio. What? It won't let you add a song because of the whole. I don't fucking know. But it won't let me put big ass truck. <laughs> I've tried a few times. N it won't let me put big ass truck. But Ricky can find it no problem. I just don't get it. I even type it in all caps like how they have it: big ass truck, big ass dog. I've tried. Doesn't work. You might have to hit him up. See it and find out a secret. Oh no, dude! That was crazy. Today I was What's insanely happy. About I felt like our hard work. Got recognized a little bit today. You think so? Shout out Sergio. Shout out. Shout, shout out Sergio. Out. Big shout out. Shout out Ruin. Shout out Ruin. Bro's talking about us with his homies and shit. Like outside of the podcast. Like even before we dropped the episode. That was sick. Um, but yeah, dude. Like a lot of people start following us today. And a lot of people were posting it. So everyone that basically followed us, they posted on their story. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, that's fucking so sick. That's never happened before. A bunch of people. We, we usually have like one or two people do it. But this time it was a, a fucking gang of people, yeah, army of people. For real, man. Like, y'all blowing up my phone. Shit. Goddamn. You get notification? Who right. blowing up your phone? No, well, they would follow on um, the page. You have the notifications? No, no, no. But then they would also go follow to Follow me. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I and got a lot of them. It's like, because typically I'm over here, like I said, talking to myself. I, I, I don't really get that. <laughs> whoa, like, ding, whoa. Ding, ding. I'm like, oh my God, is my boss texting me? No way. What's going on? Yeah. So I thought, I, I don't know. It just made me happy that like we had somebody on that people fucked with. Yeah. 100% dude. And obviously the people that we've had on before, we fuck with them very heavily. Yeah, totally. That's what we have on. You know, but it's just, uh, it was, it was different. Totally different. It's like a, Usually we just have friends on, you know? And he... He's a, fr he's, he's a friend now. He's a homie. We're going to quote Harlow Parker, friend of the pod. But uh, <laughs> he's a friend of the pod. But totally, he's like a, he's a homie now. Because, like, me and him chit-chat from time to time now. You know? Cool as fuck. Yeah, 100%, dude. But, yeah, it was just, like, different. He's in the hardcore scene. There's actually a, uh, a niche that he had. A hardcore niche. Fire. It was sick. And it's so different because it's like there's there's not a well I'm sure there is, but as far as for us, there's not a podcast niche specifically. Well you know there's I mean? podcasts that have niches, but ours does not. Like the niche of a podcast. Oh where that is a niche of music. You get what I'm saying? Just uh, kind of being a little more general with it. Okay, so we're in a podcast niche, but we're in like a comedy podcast niche. But what I'm saying is, we don't typically interact with the no. podcast community. Totally. Totally. You know? It doesn't exist. And so his niche, when he is in that niche, always... Because there's like categories of pods. There's like the criminal pods. Mm -hmm. There's uh, chatting with friends pods. There's Joe Rogan. I'm just going to say that's its own category. <laughs> I listen to Joe Rogan. And then, uh, then there's like, they talk about music. They talk about sports. And then you can go even further. They talk about a certain type of music. That's a, it's a double niche certain type of sport a certain team so, hey, so you, you start see, breaking you, it down breaking it down so the tighter niche gets and tighter, tighter, and tighter, and tighter, tighter and tighter and there's niches down here and we're at the top of like the we're fucking seven babies deep octa, octopussy type shit what's your octomom <laughs> we're octomom that's how fucking not tight we are right now you know what I'm saying 
know what I'm saying? I understand. Totally. We're, we're at podcast niche. We're not at, hey, they're a podcast. That's their first niche. Their second niche is they talk about this. Yes, 100%. We're not even in that tier. We're at the top tier. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. yeah. And that's just, we, we got to accept it. It'll be like that. It'll be and like that's that sometimes. Why, that's why um, I love what we do. Because one day we're going to talk about nothing but sports, and then the next, it's me jerking off 15 times. Hey, you never know I, what you're I guess get. he. I guess he just added one. He's just sneaking one in there on me for some <laughs> you reason. You never know what you're gonna get. Huh? Thought it was 14 times your record. It's definitely 14 times, but Wait. maybe I can beat it. Why are you trying to sneak one in there, huh? Well, because I've huh? already talked about the 14 times. So now in the future, I'm like, hey, dude, I did it 15 times. So if you can say that, then I'm six foot, baby, huh? I'm never. <laughs> I'm never gonna, never gonna do that again in my whole life. Not even just to like break your record. No, fuck no. Cause I'm sure, it, dude. I had a it gets, headache. It hurts. It gets painful. A painful headache. Well, that's insane that you would do that. Desperate times. <laughs> <laughs> desperate times go for desperate measures, baby. <coughs> yeah, but um, I don't know. I was just happy today. It was cool. I just kept checking everybody. Did this guy follow me. Oh, I've seen this guy before. Follow. I've seen this guy before. Follow. So you're, so were you kind of doing it like? Like how Ricky was saying, oh, let's see what let's see what they about. No, nah. you know, not, I'm not saying it in a confrontational I'm way, not, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Although it sounded like that. Oh, let's see what this motherfucker about. No, I would just look. I'd open their profile picture. I'm like, oh, I see this guy. Boom, follow. That's about it. Should I start stalking the Instagrams when they follow? Uh, I don't. I don't do that typically. When they follow, should I just scroll down their page? I don't. I don't really do that. I don't like when people follow me with no pictures of nothing. It's like, who are you? So you think they're just making the account just to be like, I want to see you, but <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to see me. Like, who are you? I want to know who you are. That's why, like, I'm not going to follow you if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? Not, e- not even a profile pic. Not a profile picture, <laughs> and then there's no photos. It's like just a page with a name. What do you want from me? Huh? What do you want from me? Their okay. name's like Dragon Erection, but like all the A's are fours. What if? What if they were? What if they were active on their stories and stuff like that? Oh, that's different. Because then you can see that. But they never posted stuff of them of themselves. Oh. Like it was just memes and like food and like just. I just have to get the vibe, I guess. Relatable stuff. Totally. I feel, <laughs> you know. Yeah, relatable yeah. stuff. But also on top of that, it would, I would have to see. Uh, if they're fo- if anyone is following them that I know, uh, vice versa. Because yeah. then if it's just a random guy, it's like, mm, no. Hey, but sometimes that's how you find the diamonds in the rough, baby. That's how you find the diamonds in the rough. You know what I mean? It was funny because, uh, you know, like my girl likes Christina P and shit. So she's been listening to uh, YMH. And she sends me this guy, Ian Fidance or Fidance? it. Yeah, something Fidance. like that. Fidance? Yeah. Uh, I don't know his last name. And she's like... <laughs> I I actually cracked up. She's like, "Oh, babe, he has tattoos like you." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, he has a hardcore podcast." <laughs> I think that's a comedy thing. Is it? Yeah, yeah. But he just happens. He has hardcore guys on there. He had, he had justice on there. Yeah, totally. But he just happens to like. Not oh, okay. Be a hardcore liker. Yeah, because uh, I've seen him a bunch of times because he wears like the God's Hate shorts too. Oh my god, those are sick, Daddy. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. I was like, "Yeah, he literally has a hardcore podcast." Who do we have tattoos like? We have tattoos like... Like hardcore people. <laughs> American traditional is a very, very popular style everywhere, I think. You think? 100%. You think it's popular in, in Europe? Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. Um, obviously, it is going to look different, right? Because, you know, different strokes for different folks. You know what I'm saying? Different minds. Um, but it's still going to kind of... Be from base American di- traditional. I- I'm just saying because um, those are just the people that are over there. They're in the they're in the niche themselves. Yeah, yeah. Right, and they found that they found that American traditional, and they're they rooting, love it. They're rooting off of it. You know, it's like the Japanese uh, Chicanos. Exactly, exactly, and not 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 taking anything away from from either the European American traditional artists or the Japanese Chicanos because they fucking throw it down. They oh, look dude, good totally, doing it. Totally, you know what I mean. And I'm sure they 100 percent respect the culture very much. Uh-huh. You know, and you know what I say, fucking let them do it. I got no problem with it. I mean, 
Well, you know do, what I have a problem with? Do people think that American traditional is only for American? Yeah. It, That's... Okay. Exactly. Let's calm the fuck down, people. No, exactly. It's a fucking tattoo. Some Grow people up. do. Some people That's do. That's ridiculous. Some people they take this stuff a little too seriously. You know what I mean? Who? Sailor Jerry? No, and I would say... I'm not even saying just American traditional. I would imagine... Tribal? There is um, some tribal, yes, 100%. But the first thing that came to mind was Japanese traditional. Really? I think so. People love that here. 100%. But I feel like there's just a real, like... I don't know. I can totally understand Yaku- the tribal. Like, maybe Yakuza guys as well that are like, fuck that shit, you shouldn't be wearing it, all this stuff. You know? I don't know, dude. That's just what I thought. I don't know. When I think... Japanese traditional, I think like a koi fish, and I think that's sick. Mm. That's so sick. I just yeah. wonder. I wonder if, if they're if they're like that or not. I feel like it's words that they have to watch out for. Not style of tattoo for the kuza. I, I mean, mean, I'm sure people would get offended. Like, hey, you're not fucking Japanese. Get the shit off you. I feel like that's true. You know, or like, hey, that's not your style. Like, your style is fucking this type of style. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's bullshit. It's bullshit. I need more tattoos. Broke out boy. Yeah, I know, man. I've been... You know what? I've been thinking about that a lot lately, dude. I've been itching for a new one. I've been wanting to get one. I need one. I saw this uh, I saw this post the other day, and it was like... It was the best of hardcore, that page. And it was uh, it was that guy... Uh, what's his name? Alex? He goes, I'm kind of retarded. Like that. <laughs> Who that? Who that? Fuck. He's a guy that keeps getting canceled. And Joe Rogan had him on. He got choked out. <laughs> Alex Jones. There you go. He goes, well, I'm kind of retarded. You know, I, I just saw a clip of him getting slap, bitch slapped like three times on his own show. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's him saying that, but the caption was, guys that only have arm tattoos, or guys that only tattoos their arms but not their legs. And I was like, fuck, yeah, am I, am I like retarded? Well, you got to start somewhere. Well, I know, but I got only arm tattoos. Gives a fuck. I got to thin out the horde. You like them, right? I do. You would look cool with some leg tattoos, but then you got to bust out them shorts more often, you know what I'm totally. saying? Heck yeah. Yeah, that'd be sick. But, um, yeah, that, that show was funny. Um, yeah, other than that. What do they, what do they, what do they, what do they call that shit? They call that shit when they're like a cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriator here. I'm the cultural <laughs> appropriator here. Drink my fucking appropriate. Gatorade. If you don't know, then fucking dig deeper. <laughs> Goes way back. Pod lore. It's not even pod lore. That's just fucking lore, I guess. That's just post. That's on yeah. Instagram. Check out Instagram. Yeah, that's why, that's why I dig deeper if you don't fucking know. <laughs> um, dude, so I've been slacking, obviously, the gym. Hard. Really? Okay. You know that. Everyone knows that. You everyone's, know, I actually, I didn't know that. Everyone's seen it. What do you mean? I, I just, like, I feel like shit. But you look good. I feel like shit. Recently, he's past month and a half okay feel like shit and um, I haven't been going to the gym I literally go like once a week now sometimes I even skip a week now when you say you feel like shit do you you feel like shit physically or is it kind of like self-conscious both okay okay both I feel like ugh, like, a, like you said a slug I feel like a slug just a, I feel like a slab of meat yeah like a piece of bacon a oh, you know? fat pig <laughs> A piece of bacon. <laughs> Look what the fuck he's like. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> like a piece of bacon. Poor guy, yeah, man. I feel like a piece of bacon, and uh, um, I'm glad to have friends like like I do. Because at work, Anthony and Daniel will just leave them in. You met them. Um, well, they were talking about it, and then Daniel came and told me, and they're like, "Yeah, what the fuck happened to Dylan, man? Like something's going on. Like he hasn't been working out. This, this, and that." They were just like gossiping about it in a good way mm-hmm. and Danny told me and he was like yeah bro he's like what happened to you you were, always, you were going to the gym every day you were going so hard and all this shit and I was like yeah you're totally fucking right so I've been every day this week yeah doing good and you've been going before work I've been trying yesterday I had to go after I did not wake up oh man I, and I'm gonna I, I plan on going after this you know I plan on going after this too yeah. I do plan on plan. going after this too so or even like for a walk or something you know just going out for a walk that'd be dope That'd be dope. I feel like that'd be dope. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you so. know, I've been on it too, though. I've been on it too, though. You got me blushy. <laughs> I've been on it too, though, for real. Like, I've been going before work, 
But I think I'm not getting enough time in. I need more time in. Bro, yesterday, I thought the same thing. I had the best fucking workout yesterday. Yeah, man. I have some sick workouts, but I'm not getting enough time in. Yeah, so like uh, yesterday, came home, Hoser edited, and, I, and then he left, and I was like, you know what? I just had the fucking hat. I got to go work out. And I just got in the car. It was so good, by the way. I left. It was, it was good. So good. I left, and then uh, I was like, fuck, this workout's going to suck dick. It's you felt suck. like shit already. I felt like shit. I didn't end up pooping or anything there. I had the best workout, bro. Like, I just hit it hard. I was sweating my ass off. It was just good. And I was thinking, I was like, dude, I don't have enough time to do this in the morning. And I did cardio. I did stairs. Um... Uh, my knee was really hurting though, so I only did 15 minutes because it was starting to hurt pretty bad. Oh, because of the stairs, huh? I I'm, brought my brace and everything. I'm guessing you were going pretty ham though. No, I had it on five the whole time. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty mediocre. Eight's like a good speed, I think. Eight speed, okay. that's pretty good. I didn't go on the fucking stairmaster, dude. I just <laughs> used the bike. I know, but every time I want to go on the bike, they only have four bikes, and then one sit, they they never sit in the end one. They sit one in the middle, and then one in the end. So then there's two. Like you're gonna sit next to somebody, dude. This isn't a fucking urinal, all right? <laughs> if it's if it's available and you need it, then you fucking need it. I don't know, but I'm a sweaty ass boy. I don't want to be going in between people. Man, I wouldn't give a fuck if I were you. Hey, they didn't want if they didn't want him going in between people. True, they would have put him separately. Totally true. Ah, uh, I guess you're right. But at the gym, I was working out, and I'm sitting there doing triceps. And you know, like, the pull-down machines are right there. And there was this older lady, really short, too. Someone had, like, the two single handlebars on the on the, on the the machine to pull downs. And she goes and grabs, like, the bar. And she's, like, looking at it. And she just, like, puts her head down. And I just took my hand off. I was like, do you need help? And I helped her. Heck, yeah. She was like, thank you. And I was like, you're welcome. I just kept working out. And then next thing you know, these two younger kids, like, got the oldest freshman in high school, the oldest... They looked younger than that. And he was doing the the cable rows. And he kept going like this. Uh-huh. And then him and his friend were trying to figure it out. And I just took my headphones off. And I was like, hey, bro. What the way? He had him like an 80, bro. And he was a little ass kid. Skinny, skinny. Skinny ass kid. And I was like, just kind of do this. And I just like, stand your legs like this. Just slightly lean forward and just pull straight back. And then you want to get a really big lean forward to feel a stretch. And you're going to just keep doing that. And I was just, I left him at that. And I was like, wow, that felt good. Felt good. Felt good. You know what, dude? Because, you know, I know you've done this before. Where you'll see someone struggling and you don't help them. I've done it before. Yeah, I've done it too. A lot. 100%. I've done it before. I'm like, yeah, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. And then I said, you know what? Why am I doing that? And that's great that you did that. I do tend to help people at the gym, though. Like, if I see, like, short-ass people, like, they can't do it, I literally just, like, do you need help? I do that. But, like, actually show them form all the time. I said, eh, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but yesterday, I felt different. I felt like helping. He was having a nice fucking day. I was. The hat, the gym, and then death. But that's good that you did that, dude. Because it's like... No, he knows. This kid is... is he's clearly as green as it can get right yeah and with you being his one of his first representations of the gym and like people at the gym hopefully and maybe it'll keep him in there longer see so the thing is is that i don't like doing it because it's like this fat motherfucker gonna tell me how to work out that's what i always think see and if they're thinking like that and obviously it's a kid right uh-huh. obviously it's a kid kids think stupid shit I thought stupid shit as a kid but if they're thinking like that then they didn't deserve your energy in the first place on the way to the gym I had a kid yell at me had my windows down and there was like a group of kids walking they kept yelling and you've trying been, to get my attention and you've been on the reverse end before yes or no that's, that's not the reverse end That's the end Again I'm on the end again oh. So when I was a little ass kid I was getting yelled at And now I'm an adult I'm getting yelled at <laughs> hey, You were never yelling at cars? Fuck no I hated that shit So now I'm getting yelled at By this one kid And I fucking knew who it was too And I was gonna say something I was like you know what There's a fucking 15 of them What were they saying? They are trying to get my attention What were they saying? Ay! Ay! And I was just like this in the car Posturo <laughs> so I had I had the the podcast full blast, full blast. Oh, you were listening to it? Yeah, not ours, but uh, YMH. I had it full blast, so I just act like I didn't hear them, even though I heard them clear as day. Now maybe they just wanted to be like YMH, 
Let's nah. fucking go. Nah. Nah. That's something I would. That's what you did. Tarada. Yeah, but <laughs> my homies. See, now, now you just got the show on my head again. Thanks. Thanks for that. It's a great idea. It's a great idea. But classified. Classified information. Great idea. Pod lore. Follow the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the OF. Move on in the link tree. Uh, we should do an OF, but we only just show each other's feet. No. After work. No. Man. Sweaty feet pics if there after are new work. Ladies, if there are new ladies that want to pay for some grimy feet pics, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what only man is for. You know what I'm saying? Fucking hit me up. Uh, I will fucking send you some grimy fucking feet pics. With the, like, all hey, the this, this is my foot thing. five minutes after I took it out of my work boot. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you details. I'll give you details of what I was doing and everything that day. That'd be like yelling? What the fuck? Sounds like a chicken. There's like a chicken outside. Or someone getting railed. (laughs) 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 You're having a good time. There's someone getting railed outside. It's either that or beaten to shit. Yeah, that that too. That's fucked up. Fuck. We don't hit women around here. We get abused. Whoa, 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 (laughs) bro. (laughs) Been abused. Call 1-800-MEN'S MENTAL HEALTH. Call 1-800-BANG-MY-LINE. Bang my line. Call one eight hundred. Bang my line. I've been abused. I've been I've been used and abused. I don't know. I, I think we all been used and abused. Have you? All of us. Everybody. Uh, totally me. Everybody. No. Never before. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even just speaking in a in a romantic sense. We've all been used and abused in the game of fucking life. Life has chewed us up and spit us the fuck out like a raggedy piece of gum, like a twenty five cent piece of gum. Totally. And it's doing that to us every fucking it's day. It's cutthroat, like you, you know guys what? said last week. Cutthroat. You, you know what? But the thing is, the thing is, I'm not going to be that fucking stale, no flavor having ass piece of shit gum. I don't know what type of gum I'm going to be. Probably. I'm going to be that fucking Spearmint 5 gum. I'm going to be the watermelon 5 gum. for sure. You know what? I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to be those. The green one. I'm going to be those, uh, those Mentos Spearmint gums. They run out of flavor fast, brother. Those are my favorite. That five gum? They make commercials about that shit. Oh, it feels a true five gum. <laughs> and it's me just getting fucking pounded. <laughs> Big Mill. <laughs> this guy went to the hood and he said, Do your best impression of Meek Mill. And they all go, <laughs> oh. oh, poor Meeks. Yeah, just getting fucking pounded back there. Poor guy. <laughs> See, that shit was swept under the rug after this Drake Kendrick shit came out. Hey, he wanted the fame. He wanted a fortune. He got it, too, and he ate shit. He did what he had to do. But, he's, th- but he's still going to jail constantly. Why? Why? It's 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 a part of his, part of his like... Part of the persona? It's part of uh, his character. Kind of. It's like... We talked about this before, like, in private, but, like, how come the, the rap genre kind of, like, preaches so much hate and negativity? You know? And killing and shit. 100%. Like there's totally good rap. Like, you got Larry June type shit and Action Bronson, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you got, like, I don't know. I don't even know who. 21 Savage. Does he talk about killing him? Kill him, motherfucker. Kill him, motherfucker. I don't know if that's yeah, a song, uh, but but that, that was my you, song. You got, <laughs> you got music like that, and it's like, the young generation loves rap right now. Hey, man, but I love but, you some violent fucking shit sometimes. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. Totally. But I'm saying, like... Imagine they started talking about good shit. Uh-huh. How this generation would change. How the world would change. Because that is the most popular thing there is. Right now. Like, that type of music is the most popular right now. Modern day hip hop. Mm-hmm. It's the most popular music by far in the world. But when they're singing about trapping, fucking capping, and popping bottles. Like, look at like King Von, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. He was rapping about that shit and he, and he got killed. Then you got, what's that other guy got killed at, like, Church Chicken or uh, that Waffle House? P&B Rock. Yeah, you know? He was at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, there man. There you go. It's, his girl leaked his location. You know, it's like, you're rapping about that shit, that's what happens. And you want kids to hear shit like that and, like, start doing that, it's fucked up. It is fucked up. It is fucked up. But, I mean, I guess, I guess that just goes to show 
proof of the pudding is I would say that that is the life they live. Totally. You know? Yeah. And they're just talking about the life they live. Okay, so thoughts on John Morant? Because he lived the totally opposite life until, uh, like, last year. You know? And, um... That's some bitch shit. His name is, like, Ryan. His real name is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> and he still lives at home with both parents. But does, does that make you not hard? Like, what the fuck is that about? Seriously? I was just going off of the... I know, people say that, but, like... I was going off the eight-mile line, bro. Brother, I don't fucking know what you're talking about. His, his real name's Clarence. Oh. Clarence lives at home with both parents. And Clarence's parents have a real good marriage. What's I wrong just, with that? Just Eight finish mile? the whole rest of it for me. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know the rest of it. What is the rest of it? I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> oh, my God. I just put your hood on and just start talking like that the rest of the day. Just put your hood on. Go grab your genie from the car. You know, and I wish I could. I really wish I could. I really wish I could keep talking like that for the rest of the day. That's some talented shit right there. No, I like back to the gym, bro. Fuck all that rap shit. Okay, we're about positivity here. It's gonna be a pleasure, again. <laughs> um, dude, how how fortunate were we to like have like the mentors we had? You know what I'm saying? Okay, hold like, on. Hold we'll on. Bleep his name. We had. Okay. We had for one, all of these people. I never. I was never nearly as close to them as you were. All of them, every single one. Are you saying that I'm prone to getting touched by grown men? <laughs> 100%. You've got the face of innocence, dog. <laughs> My starfish is tight as ever, brother. Yes. And they see that. So. But yeah, realistically, dude. Fortunate. I wasn't. I was never as close to these people as you were. Because you were working out with them, you were always talking to them, all this shit, and I was just kind of always in the background, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Obviously, I did talk to those other people that uh -huh. we would hang out with in the store and shit, but, like, for the most part, I wasn't really talking to people like that in the gym. Well, like, to prioritize form and prior to, instead of weight, and just, like, it, it's better if you do it correct. And I will I actually squeeze and shit. have one specific person in mind uh -uh. that I will attribute a lot of my knowledge. Can I guess? From the gym. Can I guess? Yes. Do I know them? Um, maybe just uh, like a background character. Oh, I thought it was your brother. No, no, no. It well, you know. Included. Hold on. Let me reference episode <laughs> 109 here, because you're always one person away. <laughs> you're always one person away, because you, you said my brother, and it was a brother's coworker. Ah, uh, okay. It was a brother's coworker, a real good ho homie of his. His name was. Uh huh. Right. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we'll believe his name, but yeah. I know him. Big yeah. old chest. One hundred percent. Beast of a man. Beast. Yes, and, totally. And he, we would work out with him and his buddies quite a bit, and they really showed us a lot. I just wish I was able to put on size at that age. Well, he was uh, muscle mass. Oh, at a younger age. Yeah. I know, man. You know, but I think we were working hard at the gym, and obviously there were there were times where we would. Um, where we would eat real clean and shit. But I don't know. I think we just never really took it to the next level of eating like as much we as would, we should have. Yeah. Well, I feel we were eating clean, but not enough. Yes. I think we were just moderately eating. We didn't really live the life of, like, get fucking big and do it, you know? So, like I told you, I've been trying to get muscle mass. And what I've been trying to do is less sets, less reps, just heavy as I can go. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's helping. I feel like I'm getting stronger. Oh, 100%, dude. Because I always kind of just stayed... Like, when I was going to that gym for that whole year last year, I kind of just stayed the same, strength-wise. But I would also attribute that to your food consumption. Of the less than 1,000 calories a day. Because clearly you're not going to be as strong... That was fire. You're not going to be your strongest when you have nothing to eat, when you have no fuel in your system, you know? I was getting it a, a serious fucking... What's that called? Eating disorder? Eating disorder. Really bad. That was only, that was for about like a week or two after, huh? Uh, no, it was that whole time I was doing that that challenge at 10 weeks. So would you call it an eating disorder or would you would you say that you were Determination. just extremely strict on yourself? Determin uh, at first it was strict and then it was like, when we talked about it before, like, yo, that oven has 90 calories. I can't eat that. You know, See, it was like, it was getting like serious like that mm -hmm. to where I'd feel bad for eating that and I wouldn't eat it. And I would just not eat at all. And then I remember, like, one day we went out to dinner, like, all of us. Not, like, I'm talking about you, but, like, my family, right? 
and everyone we're at this burger place and everyone got burgers and I got a half order of salad. I understand what you're saying, right? But think about it this way, dude. Michael Jordan, right? His fixation with basketball took him to new heights, new things that he would do <laughs> to where the normal person would never do just to win a game. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. A game of basketball. And maybe this is what you're doing. You're like- literally taking this competition to new heights, doing new things, stressing yourself out and restricting yourself so much just to win the competition. Totally. There's no competition right now. Like, we, we all started it, but, like, everyone stopped weighing in and stuff, and I just gave up, too. But there's still time. It's still June 1st, so. See, and, and, and no longer is it a competition against everybody else. Now it's, it's just me. you versus you right me now. Me versus everybody. You know? But back to your reference, I think you should reference Kobe, because torn Achilles, free throws, shit like that. That's, that's different heights. Hey, man. I've seen Last Dance. So. We saw Kobe live. We didn't see Jordan live. Kobe's a go. Personally. I think Jordan's a I go. love MJ. Totally. I'm going with MJ. So. Shaq or Jokic? Shaq, 100%. Prime Shaq versus Jokic? Yo, Shaq, 100%. Yeah, I agree. Fucking He's bang- body him. He's banging his line. Shit. He's ba- <laughs> fucking banging his line. Yeah, 1-800 bang my line. <laughs> yeah, 1-800 bang my line. Fucking barbecue chicken head ass. <laughs> Bro, oh my God. The shit I saw today, Luka Doncic is an MVP finalist. Top, like, four in the world, or NBA, right? Mm-hmm. Bro reached top 500 of Overwatch. He posted it. He's a top 500 Overwatch player <laughs> and a top four fucking guard in the league. A top player in the top four player in the league. You know what I'm saying that is? You know how many... I'm sure you know. How many fucking players are there in this Overwatch community? A lot. And he's a top fucking 500? A fuck ton. You know what I'm saying that is? It's ten times the NBA, probably even more than that. It's way more than the NBA. It's not even close to the NBA. It's insane. It's way more. But I'm saying, like, bro's fucking putting in hours on the court and off the court on his game. Killing it. So what does that have to say about Euro Leagues and the league they played in specifically? Doncic says it's better over there. Personally, he said it's harder. Now, is he talking about the, the players? The players are better? Or is he talking about... Because clearly you know better than I do that when, when an opposing team in soccer, at least, goes into another another team's home field, uh-huh. that can be a great weight on your yeah. fucking shoulders. Uh-huh. So that's what I'm kind of thinking as well. Because obviously we know that European fans, they Crazy. fucking go insane. Yeah, we got to catch something out there. Got to catch something. Like, dude, right now, Dortmund versus Real Madrid in the Champions League. Bro, imagine how crazy the fans are going to be. Insane. Dortmund haven't been here in years. Because I'm not really thinking it's the players. Is your brother going to go? You got to tell him to go. I, I don't know. He's not going, bro. Dude, you got to tell him, like, bro, you got to go. He's not going. You got to find any ticket and just go. He's not going. He's got to go. He's not. Champions League finals? I bet you he's not. Champions League finals game. You don't get to experience it that often, and he's right by Dortmund. Bayern's different. Do- Do- he's in Dortmund. He's right there. He's got to go. You gotta bring That's it up not to even him. a thought in his mind. Dude, it'll be sick. Best experience of his life. It's not even a thought in his mind. I have him fly me out there and buy my ticket for the, for the game. <laughs> well, do <dude>, that. <laughs> I'll go for two days and I'll come back. And if, if you were in Europe, you could travel like that for $75. A low price of $75. Bro, you can drive to the top of Germany in six hours. It takes us fucking, what, 18 hours just to get to the top of California? Something like that? Was it 18 hours? I think so. Something light? Yeah, yeah, something light. 32 What's 30, up Germany was all this shit 32 chance You thought you were gonna win the war Are you fucking kidding me With a little ass shit like that A little ass country like that We can walk that In one day We Imagine walking a country And you thought you were gonna win the war Are you serious Yeah hey, I'm gonna have blisters though Best believe <laughs> My fucking ass gonna be chafing You saw now, the guy that walked all of Africa From From east to west Or something like that West to east No Yeah some British guy walked it all British dude huh so, you know, well, I think- actually, I think it might be South African. You know, they kind of sound similar. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thoughts on Drake is, uh, kissing his coach on the lips and his brothers? Hey, baby. That's gay. <laughs> no, I mean, if, if you fuck with it, then you fuck like, with it. Like, right after he won the bell, he went to his coach, right, like, a hey, big smooch. Not like he, a peck. And then, uh, is it a regular thing? Or is for, it just kind of like... For over there, it's regular, yeah. Hey, man, if that's their culture, that's their culture, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't personally do it, but... 
I see you get like gonorrhea. It's kind of weird. It's a little weird. I mean, it's a little more chances of getting herpes and all that kind of stuff. But but he says, he's like, other men are just jealous that I'm comfortable with my sexuality. Yeah, if he's comfortable, if he's comfortable doing that, then by all means, go ahead and do it. I just don't want to kiss my brother. I've done it one too many times. <laughs> I just got flashbacks when you pretend that you're stuck in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? Nothing wrong with kissing your brother. You kiss your brother on the lips. We would beat the shit out of each other. Like, like, what He'd about... would beat the shit out of me. What about uh, children kissing their parents on the lips? How do you feel about that? Negative. Negativo. Negativo? Yep. See, like, yeah, I, I also, I agree with you, right? It's weird. I mean... We've taught my daughter not to do that. Yeah, it's very... Personally, I think it's it's a, it's a little weird, but... People, a lot each, of people do it. To each his own, I guess. Because um, there's, like, pictures of, like, kids getting, like, herpes and shit. Because people do that. That's where I learned to not do that. This was years before I even had a baby. That like all these kids like would get herpes because they would kiss their lips. You know what? I didn't even. I didn't Babies never, would get herpes from family members. Never even thought about Dirty that. Dirty ass family members. Okay, no, hold on. But the thing is, if 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 I were to make an exception at all, I think if anything, it's just the parents. You're no yeah. uncles, no aunts, nothing. If uh-huh. you if you if you really like like that. Or if, if that's something that you're comfortable with, I think it would just have to be the parents. Uh-huh. You know? But still, that's not for me, brother. Yeah, not so doing that. little if babies get, like, herpes and kids. shit from, like, their family. It's fucked up, dude. That's why you don't kiss them on the lips. And it's just weird to me. It's weird. It's weird. Lips are for loved, the person you love. Or some people, lips are just for nothing at all. Some people just don't... Voldemort. Fuck with love. Voldemort. Oh my god, did you see that shit? One of the late, like, the... One of the older, like, headmasters in the Harry Potter movies went to, like, some podcast or, like, some news show and this guy had, like, a Harry Potter shirt on and she was like, get out! She was like, those movies are 15 years old, you need to grow up, like, totally shitting on the dude. And he was, like, her biggest fan. It was fucking hilarious. I've only seen the first Harry Potter movie. I don't know, but, dude, it was fucking so funny. I hear so much about those, so much about Lords of the Rings. Hey, Lord of the Rings is dang. All those. Never seen a single Lord of the Rings. You should watch them. And Star only Wars? watched one Harry Potter. What I've watched Wars? all the Star Wars. Well, not the newest Star Wars, but... Old ones? Yeah. Okay. I watched all those. Why don't you watch Lord of the Rings? Those movies are fire. Which ones? Lord of the Rings. Just didn't appeal to me. Why not? I don't know. Just didn't. You like Games of Thrones type shit? Eh. Didn't even watch Game of Thrones. Me neither. I watched eight episodes. Got bored as fuck. <laughs> What appeals to me? You know what appeals to me? That fucking Fallout show really appealed to me. I really want to watch that. You like that fucking uh, Mad Max type vibes. Shit like that. Like nuclear, at post-nuclear warfare. Well, not even just that. That's very that's very specific. But <laughs> 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 speaking of niches. You were in the fucking bottom <laughs> niche here. No, no, not, not even just specifically that, dude. I only like shows about nuclear warfare. <laughs> <laughs> ICBM. That is fucking my song for today. For sure. That has been my song for today. I'm taking it back to hardcore. Yeah. Shout out Contention. Day Style. New shit. Good shit. It's I'm fucking on my 5x5. Five five. My goddamn alarm. I had to change that shit. <laughs> my God, your man. alarm? You see, but that's so weird. Isn't your alarm? <laughs> <laughs> I connected it to my Spotify. Ah, and it picks a random song from one of my playlists. And oh, for, man. I, I don't think it's random, though. See, because it's been good for you by Olivia Rodrigo every fucking and day. I, I've, thought, I've, thought about, I've thought about switching up my alarm sound, right? Uh-huh. But I don't think I can. I feel like... My body's just conditioned to the sound that I hear every single day. That if I hear something else, I, I wouldn't wake up. I'm so I'm scared to switch it because. For Why me, don't you try it on a weekend? Fuck that! I'm not. I'm not gonna let a stupid alarm wake me up on the weekend. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't for for scientific pre nuclear warfare, you wouldn't try it, just for scientific reasons. Do just, I, would I really have to? Just like on a Saturday, you're like, oh, you know what, I want to go to the gym early today. So you just set a different alarm. Like, I'm changing my alarm for today. See if you wake up. And if you don't wake up, then it just wasn't meant to be. And then you know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Just not this weekend. <laughs> just not this weekend. No, I'll probably hit the gym early this weekend. Hey, Let's be question real. for you. Okay? Are you done working on anything on the Saturday? 
Well, believe it or not, you still got fitness 19? Totally down. So, you, yeah? Yeah. You down to get a little workout in before we go? 100%. Cool. Early morning? Like 6? Early morning. Cool. We've got to go in today, baby. We've got to go in today. Welcome back, everybody. Guys, in the episode fucking 45, I had to take a shit. Technical difficulties again, <laughs> as always. Um, but uh, where, where were we at? ICBM. Nuclear warfare. <laughs> Niche. <laughs> Dropping oh bombs. God. You need to take a fat shit. You took a fat shit. No, basically, like, what Sergio said really affected me to my soul. He said, a lifer, and I've already told you, I'm not trying to be, a, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm a lifer. I'm saying I like hardcore, and I like to, re- I, I respect local bands a lot. I, I would like to sh- start showing up to more shows, whether that I have to bring the baby or not. You know? That was my excuse. I have the baby. I feel like if she goes around it more, she's just used to it. Yeah, yeah. If she's vibing to Coco Melon, she could vibe to Darzoom. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, she. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yes. Like, yes, why totally, not? Totally. She could learn to vibe. <laughs> then you just hear her go on stage, yes, as, straight, edge. That'd be sick, dude. I that'd mean, be so we, sick. We all learned to vibe at one point in our oh, lives. That'd be sick. Or then she goes up there, smash your elitist ways. Oh, that'd be fire. That's it. That'd be fire. Then, whoa, well, next thing you know, she busts out some <laughs> gymnastics moves. Whoa, honey, where'd this come from? Well, like I posted that video, I was playing 97 minutes. She goes, oh, daddy, I'm dancing like you. And then she literally swung at me. She fucking swung See, at me. See, there it is. There She's it is. already going. She's already going. She, she's already uh, she's got her foot in the door yeah like when we play outside I usually like bring the speaker out there and I'll do side to side outside I'll like pretend what the fuck was that that was my call to action oh I would like I'll like pretend mosh or whatever you know mm-hmm. and so she likes she likes watching me she thinks it's fucking hilarious wow so she make money huh huh yeah already she's she's been, I don't know who taught her this but recently she's been like uh what is that? Where the mimic? They mimic me. Oh, really? So I'll say something. She go. Mm-hmm. I love Wait, it. Wait, don't do that. Don't do that. I love doing that shit. Fuck that shit. I love doing it. No. No. This is just because. Well, I love doing it to my mom. You know <laughs> what I mean? That's fucking terrible. It's no, but it's this is the relationship I got with her. She knows, she knows this better than anybody, and I told her this before. The day that I'm not a fucking gnat in your ear. I hate you. Just I fucking hate your guts, mother. Be worried, mom. Yeah. Like Miss Lapis. You know what I mean? That stuck to me. Did you know that? No, what? What was it? Like, she said that to me one time. Do you know how she always picks on students? Mm-hmm. And then she said, if I stop picking on you, that's when you should be worried. Yeah. And that's when I don't like you. That's what it is. And yeah. and, and if, if like, it's, it's, it's like that with her. It's like that with my sister. Uh-huh. Uh, the nephews. No, not really. You know what? You better start getting to work, brother. Thinking about it, it's typically been like that with women in my life, really. Because I don't really, like, annoy you like that. You know what I'm saying? But What, it, what do you feel fucking more powerful than them, you piece of shit? You think it's funny? No, I do think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. No, for no, real. No, but it's like little stuff. It, yes, like, I know. I'm poke, joking. Like I'm poking joking. and shit I, like I'm that. I'm joking. You know? And my mom knows what it is. Should but I tell you, like, hey, listen, little shit, I'm not in the mood today. No, no. <laughs> she'll swing at me a couple times. She'll, she'll swing something at me. There was a, a video I saw today, <laughs> and the guy would talk to his mom how she would talk to him, and she started fucking getting in town and hitting him with it. Like, stop, don't do that. Yeah, but there's just something about moms. They're always going to have that, that hold on you. You know what I mean? Sith my mom, at least. Yeah. She's got a hold on me for sure, Z's. She's a Sith Lord and fucking Darth. She, she knows the cheat codes. She knows what the fuck to put in her. She's Darth Sidious. You know what I mean? She's Darth Sidious. What is that? Star Wars, Darth Sidious. You know the, the councilman who made uh, um, Obi Wan, not Obi Wan, Anakin Skywalker is that turn the dude evil? In the black po- in the yes, black sir. Cloak? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. yes, yes. That's Darth Sidious. Oh, really? I don't know them by name, but I've seen him before. That's him. Pale dude? Yes. <laughs> arguably the strongest, arguably the strongest Sith. Got lightning. Yeah. Arguably the strongest Sith. It's pretty badass, by the way. Lightning. It's pretty sick. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's the kind of holds you out on me. Shout I gotta, out my mom. Yeah. Shout out your mom. I really love my mom. But, uh, you ready to go, brother? Ready? You still got more to, you still got more to say? No, I'm ready. I'm sweating. I appreciate my mom. I know. 
Shout out, mom. Yes, shout out, shout out my dad. We shout out, I shout you out a bunch of times. But shout out again, Bollard. Shout out my dad, too. You ready uh, to go? 100%. Follow us on Daddy's Dungeon on all platforms. Daddy's Dungeon Pod on Instagram and TikTok. And Twitter is Daddy's Dungeon P. Email us at Daddy's Dungeon Pod for any uh, men that molested you growing up. Okay, peace. <laughs> crazy. You know, like, random ass dudes talking about, like, yeah, I was molested by this guy. Yo, that's kind of that's crazy.